Hey everyone, Les here from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today is Sunday, May 22, 2022. Gonna be analyzing the election results, label wins with Anthony Albanese in uh, charge of the country. What does it mean for the stock market? And I'm also going to disclose a couple of sectors that I believe could do well, could benefit from the election result if some specific facts are confirmed in the future. So let's have a look. Just want to remind you, this is not a financial device, it's just us from BG Trading sharing with you how we apply our strategies to know when to buy and when to sell stocks, how we set up targets, stop losses, and much more all in this channel. So if you like, please share this video with someone that you believe could be interested. Subscribe the channel and hit the like button. I'm also uh, enforcing you to leave your opinion below about the results of this election on the stock market in the comments and um, yes yeah, so here in this channel we trade together and we win together so uh, i'm going to go specific to feel uh, to the most important fact that labor government could uh, could do in terms of uh, benefiting some particular sector in the stock market and it is uh, the first one is china australia relationship could improve According to Euro Asian Times media source, the Chinese government is remaining optimistic that better relationship between Australia can be established now that Labour Anthony Albanese won the election. So, is it good for the country? It doesn't matter. It's not what we're analyzing here. What we're analyzing is if that is confirmed somehow within the next few months and we could now see a, a potential benefit to stocks in consumer defensive sector such as a to milk bubs australia australian treasure wine states which are all stocks that have been hardly affected by uh, the disruptive relationship of scott morrison with a um, chinese government Again, I'm not defending any parties in this video. It's just based on facts and the media sources. Now, basically, uh, label winning could be a, we could see a rebound of consumer defensive, uh, the whole sector, even stocks that don't necessarily, depending on export to China, we could see a potential rally on those stocks if the whole sector, if money flow back into the sector. So stocks like bigger cheese could benefit as well. It is a stock that we analyzed in the past. So also net zero emission policy. policy. So in this, uh, in this uh, particular uh, subject, um, labor and coalition has uh, pretty similar sort of support, but labor has highlighted some further funding to be invested in green energy. Uh, so what we want to look into renewable sto uh, energy stocks, uh, EV continues to be a, a benefit from um, the global macroeconomics, but I don't think that will be affected. So it's, I would say this is positive for EV stocks and uh, even hydrogen, some particular hydrogen stocks as well. Now, remembering that, uh, of course, if you are investing in EV material stocks, such as lithium uh, producer or lithium uh, explorers or graphite or battery manufacturer, what you need to, to appraisal is uh, how, uh, how, what is the price of the material at the moment? And uh, as I said in previous video, I think the next 12 months, we still have a great chance of uh, a rally, a continued uh, rally, but we, what we see is uh, pretty much a bubble. And this bubble burst like did in buy now, pay later, like did in tech stocks. We don't want to be holding uh, the EV stocks uh, after we have a balanced market, a 
At the moment, we have a bottleneck of lithium production, which is great for lithium stocks and a massive momentum, but that changes right quickly. And then we have got to be aware that within 2023, a lot of players will start jumping the market to produce lithium. And if you don't know, lithium materials are very abundant in uh, Earth. So um, it's not a hard to, exp uh, to extract, just take time to, to extract. So um, with balanced market, obviously you don't want to be holding those stocks. But I would be worried only in 2023. Property market, what does uh, the election result means for real estate? Well, label emphasize on what they call share equity scheme. So basically, if you don't have, if you don't afford buying a property, you can uh, basically uh, get the government to pay part of the property. So they own equity in your property. So you're able to jump into this, to, to the real estate market, right? This, uh, for me, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, property prices, I think that's positive because um, for the property price itself, because it's, an, it's a common sense to think that if the government putting money in the equity in the property, uh, after all, they want uh, the property to keep going uh, positive, keep going up because they don't want the government doesn't want to lose money as well. So um, besides that, uh, the disruptive uh, supply chain of construction material, the, the degradation of construction sector as well, with a lot of companies going uh, uh, under liquidation and travel because the rise of material uh, that also has contributed for uh, supply to uh, restrain your supply, which means uh, less property to be built, less development approvals, and therefore we could see still a massive demand for housing and not enough supply, which is good for property investors like ourselves. We are property investors as well. So there, uh, uh, then obviously the short-term interest rates hike, it's, it's, uh, it's not good for property at this stage, but we probably will see just, uh, we would see a small decline, but uh, within three, four, five years, uh, we probably will see uh, all the, uh, the property market in the key areas um, uh, catching up with uh, 2021 prices again. So I wouldn't worry too much about that as long as you don't have to sell and as long as you have a tenants in place, that's fine. Uh, lastly, just to summarize the whole thing, um, I, I believe that uh, consumer uh, defensive is the sector that will be the biggest benefit provided that uh, Australia and China relationship, relationship improvement is confirmed within the next few months. Now, let's take a look quickly in uh, some of the stocks that could be winners. So A2 Milk, A2 Milk obviously is a stock that we trade in the past, now trading really low at 4.27. Uh, uh, I believe that we could see uh, if you have a bullish intersection here, uh, now we could see a, a very good week for those stocks. And at the moment, we have a bullish intersection level one here, which the green candle trading above the yellow line. So I would say this is a buy at the moment. Uh, and, and then obviously uh, on the back of the fact that label and government are um, more desirable for Chinese in terms of relationship, then if you could see a 20% would have bring the, uh, the stock price would have to go around $5.40 for 25%. It's pretty feasible, I think, uh, especially now with this uh, election result. Obviously remembering that the, the, the whole, uh, the whole the, uh, A2Milk is still in a bear, is a massive bear market at the moment. And then uh, you need to have a stop loss under $4. If you have a stop loss under $4, you probably can make some money if, uh, if there's a strong bounce back in the sector. Now let's go with Treasure Wine States, which is another stock that has been hardly affected by um, by this uh, disruptive relationship between Australia and, and China. Now, uh, 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 TWE is being trading sideways. We could, again, like, let's see if we can have a 20% 
opportunity here. As we can see, there's a, a pretty much a bullish intersection here. The, the I gotta put the, the right color, sorry guys. I gotta put the right color here. So this is uh, the yellow line. Yes, and then this is the pink, so the red line. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a bullish intersection there. Uh, obviously, the stock's trading sideways. The fact trading sideways, it is uh, most likely uh, trading within a channel. So let's try to draw, let's draw this channel here, which is the bottom would be 10, 1050. So you wanna probably look into put your stop loss around 1050. And uh, obviously, if um, if you really there is a, a a bounce back uh, in the market, you probably you probably could do the fifteen percent upside. It's not moving a lot, but if there is a momentum in the in the in the sector, as I said, we could see a big bounce back. So, Bob's Australia is another one that being uh, negatively affected by a China relationship. So now Bubs Australia is the stock that we've been uh, we've been trading as well together with our VP members. Now we could see I still think uh, seventy five cents is a target for uh, Bubs Australia. Now like we are talking about forty percent from the current price, but if do twenty percent is enough? Obviously we are almost having a bullish intersection here. Uh, and then stop loss got to be under this uh, this bottom uh, the, this bottom range here, which is uh, stop loss under thirty five cents. Definitely stop loss under thirty five cents. However, the time to buy stocks uh, that are offering value is now. Uh, you don't want to buy when they are uh, up when they are trading above. Uh, you know, and then this company is doing, uh, keep increasing its uh, its revenue, expanding in the market. Bubs Australia is expanding the U.S. market. I believe there's a, still a great potential for Bubs Australia, especially under fifty cents, uh, if you are a long term holder. Okay, so EV stocks. I'm not gonna go in EV stocks, but these three stocks in this particular sector could uh, definitely benefit from a um, change of government. And uh, obviously, uh, guys, the full article uh, they have written is on our Facebook community, Buy, Grow, Sell, Strategy for Share Traders. If you are not member yet, make sure you become member, it's free. And I, and I put a lot of great quality content and analysis for you and free of charge as well. So uh, leave, uh, your comments uh, below if you uh, agree if you don't agree tell us why you don't agree but um yeah let's open up a discussion in this video well that's that's all for today hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video have a fantastic weekend the whole idea when we design bg trading bgs 20 strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.